Hey besties, coming up, coming to you with another video about giving guys a chance. Okay, as I mentioned, or I don't know what order you'll see these videos, Steve Harvey did a book about how we don't give black women, don't give guys a chance. Now, I feel giving guys a chance does not mean necessarily settle, right? Or I feel like, I'm sorry, I want the guy they to at least have a high school diploma. Not a college degree, a high school diploma. Okay, that's just me. I mean, I do have some standards, um, but I do feel that they don't have to be lofty standards because then you put yourself in this little piece of men that you, you're probably never gonna find. It's like a needle in a haystack if you find this. If your list is too long of what you need to date somebody or be with somebody, I always tell myself, I just ask God, God is my man. God is the one who does for me. I've been like, God, give me what I need, not what I want. And, you know, that has worked in some situations. I am dating somebody and, you know, we have our struggles right now. But I haven't been alone much. Well, that's not true. There has been definitely gaps in my life that I've been single, but I've definitely dated a lot. I think I was like a relationship phobe. You know what I mean? I... I'm not the one always looking for a relationship. I would be, I like my personal space a lot. So I don't always like to be up under somebody. I like to see them when I want to see them. Um, so I've definitely had relationships, but I'm never on the search for a relationship. Whereas I, I definitely have people I know who, you know, I said they rotate in the trash. As soon as they get rid of one, they have another one. I mean, all the time. And that is so not me. So what I mean in giving guys a chance is the shorter dude. You know, I'm six foot tall. And yes, I've dated that dude who's been six five, six six, six two, six feet. But I've also dated that dude that's been five eleven, five nine, six feet, five eight. The shortest I've gone is five eight. And what happened was so I keep getting interrupted. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. So I go on this date. We met on black people who meet. Either black planet or black people meet. One or the other. Either way, I didn't know how tall he was. So we get there. I get there. And I'm sitting in my car. And he's kind of like walking towards my car. It's like a restaurant. And I'm like, this dude is skinny as hell you know he's like a 140 pounds soaking wet maybe 155 he um was short and i could tell but he came with these flowers or whatever so i was like oh well you know i can sit down for a meal and usually when i enter that date if i'm not into the dude i pay for like my own meal if i'm into the dude i let him pay for my meal either way if i pay for my own meal it's easier to brush him off if he pays for my meal then clearly i want to keep him around so anyway so we're eating, we're talking. Oh my God, I laughed my ass off. Like we had the best time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this dude a chance. So we started dating and I swear me and him were just like, it was just so much fun, right? Oh my God, we had all the fun all the time. We went to this underground nightclub. We went to all these restaurants in Atlanta. He was definitely the do something type person. You know, he's not he wasn't the lay around that house introvert person. He's like the get out and do stuff type of person. Matter of fact, he's still my Facebook friend and him and his wife, yeah I did say wife. I might do a video on how most of my exes are married. But him and his wife, they do a lot of stuff. He was also like a club promoter. So they definitely go out and do stuff. So one time we went to his friend's house. His friend was the same size as he was, same height, similar weight. Now I was a big girl and six foot and I wasn't thin, okay, at the time. 
And his friend said to him, he told me when we left, his friend said to him, isn't she, I mean, she pretty, but ain't she kind of too big for you? And he goes, she's just right. And he definitely made me feel like a superstar to the point that I realized I was the one that had to hang up. He did not have to hang up. He thought I was beautiful. He felt I was beautiful. And that peeled away my self-esteem issues to what we looked like together, what other people thought. He made me feel good. Now we separate. I don't really want to get into that. <laughs> it wasn't lovely. But the time we spent together, we definitely had a great ass time. So my thing is, um, what are you truly looking for? Are you looking for a man that makes you feel good? Um, I definitely, I met this West Indian lady years ago. I don't know what part of the country or world she's from. I don't know what part of, I mean Barbados. Anyways, she told me, and I think she's 100% right. Find a man who likes you more than you like him. And you'll have less stress. And in all those situations, she was correct. So on that note, if I did not give him a chance, I wouldn't have had those experiences. And sometimes life is a course of experiences. It's not always about getting the wedding ring or whatever. It's about enjoying your life. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that.